was all alone Her paper was stretched so thin and she didn't had no phone So her money was getting smaller, her days was getting longer And things was getting harder, she wishing her life was over So she persists and ceased Till one day somebody tapped her on the shoulder and told her about God's peace A peace that's ungraveable, peace that's unshakable that knows the wind and the peace that's overtaking you yeah. Just know your powers ain't breaking you He's about to ease your mind so he can build more faith in you So here's a plate of food Psalm 23 where he prepared a table in front of your enemies He never let me, he never let me, yeah He never let me down like what I be feeling if I don't be feeling him Yeah, I come through, yeah, I come spit it again uh, yeah, here we go like once again I need Jesus, but I'm in the doctors or the dealership Cops took my boy, hey, Zeus gun, they took Jesus' peace I tell you, when I was young, I had a Jesus peace But now nah, it's time for me to step out and me to hit the streets When I get older and wiser, I know Jesus' peace uh, Peace that's unshakable, I tell you right now It's a peace that's unbreakable, yeah and I spit it from the free off the top of the noggin at we O R C C on ramps and we covering it. I got all y'all standing right here, man. You steady loving it, yeah. yeah. Wave your hands up in the air from left to right, from side to side. Yeah, we repping Jesus Christ. Yeah. Up to never stop. I never see some out here rapping about G O D Jesus peace. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That was freestyle. That was freestyle. Uh -huh. That was straight off the dome. Yeah. This is for Jesus, man. Yeah, he never let me, he, he never, never let me, he never, never let me, he never, never let me. It go like this, look. Check my philosophy, a particular system of ethics. I'm always recollecting my prophecy. I'm grasping what was told to me. I'm looking to what's supposed to be. I'm going in the band of buildings for Christ. Soul saving millions. But then my soul got cold. It went from cold to hot to lukewarm, disintegrating my whole plot. But then I got back on my feet again I tell you I never smell the smell of defeat again There's not an army who can fight back There's not a soldier who can strike back Jay, why you write that? He's coming like a thief in the night black And if you got the sun, you exist from the attack It's time for us to ride like soldiers And then be prepared to die He's on the white horse and I'm out in the twinkling of an eye Ah, yeah. yeah Stay buried Peace One more time, it's October, the month of the harvest, Amen. and the Lord of the Amen. harvest is alive, and his name is spelled J E S U S Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah! And I'm so excited, Noel, that tonight, tonight, we're going to witness and see another episode in which Jesus, the hand of the living Lord, moves where the old things have been changed and they've become new. Lives are being changed by the resurrected power of Jesus Christ. We are the present day Book of Acts church and operation out here. Amen. And tonight, we are so privileged that from out of the low community, out of the depth of the hearts of the being, of the heartbeat of here in this community, we have another young man who's given his life to Jesus Christ. And he will be baptized tonight. Hallelujah! We all... Pastor Timothy's in here with me. We're going to baptize Jose tonight. Jose, I have you come stand next to me. Just because we don't want the microphone in the water. So again, tonight is very exciting because is this is a major life decision for Jose. And it means not just something for him, it means something for his entire family. It means something for this entire community. The Lowell neighborhood has just gained another world changer in Jose. 
So I'm excited about this tonight. And so, uh, Jose, uh, I want you just to share whatever you want to share, and then I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and then Pastor Timothy and I are going to baptize. So, Jose, I want to give you the mic. All right. Amen. Amen. That's incredible. Because every one of us has an opportunity to make this very same decision. And every time you make this decision, and every person, whoever makes this decision, is making a decision like Jose said, not just for themselves. Yeah, it's for you. But it's also going to affect your entire family. It's going to affect an entire neighborhood if you, if you really live this thing out. And Jose will, that's absolutely right. He is already. And so, uh, my brother, Jose, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. All right. And do you want to be baptized tonight? Then my brother, Pastor Timothy and I are going to baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, you face that here. Or, sorry, wrong Rosie. All right. So you face that here. Okay. So we'll switch you up. You're tall guy. Okay. All right. And I uh, think the best. How beautiful, my mama. Yeah. Can we do this? Can we do this? Yeah. Let's do it. We're like this. Stand up. Okay. All right. Cross your arms. All right. That's Brother Jose. Pastor Timothy and I baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, um, so Jose, how 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 are you feeling right now? Feel better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's awesome. That's great. Yeah. That's good. It's good. Good. All right. So we're gonna head back over uh, to the tents tonight. Praise God for new life. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. We again just thank God for what he's doing tonight. We praise God for Jose and for his life, for the incredible decision he made. He obviously knows that everyone has sinned and everyone has fallen short of the glory of God. And there's nothing that we can do on our own in order to be reconciled back to God. But it is literally the blood of Jesus that was shed on the, on the cross. That's the only way that we have any type of opportunity, any type of chance to become reunited with our Father, with God our Father. So this song just simply says, it's a question that we're asking. What can wash away my sins? Is it the water? Is it the soap? Is it, what is it? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other help we know but the blood of Jesus. Yeah. 
nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. But the blood of Jesus. Let's say it this way. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. 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 It washes white as snow. It washes. Forgiveness in the blood. There's forgiveness in the blood. Do you believe that tonight? Of Jesus. There's forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. There's forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. Forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. It washes one. Just know that there's power in the blood. There is power in the blood of Jesus. You don't have to be strong on your own. Just know that there is power in the blood of Jesus. So much power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. It washes white and when you're sick in your body, there's healing in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody excited about that? Doesn't matter what you're going through, there's healing in the blood of Jesus. Healing in the blood of Jesus. There's healing in the blood. There is healing in the blood of Jesus. It washes. It washes white. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Come on, lift your voices and sing. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes. It washes white. Washes white as snow, it 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 washes white as snow. So God, we are grateful that you loved us enough to send your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, that we may have an opportunity to be reconciled to you, Jesus. Thank you for the, the power that is in the blood. Thank you that there's healing in your blood. God, thank you that there's forgiveness. There's redemption. There's joy. There's peace. Tonight, we're going to finish off a series talking about unshakable peace. And God, we just thank you. We thank you that you give us peace that surpasses all understanding. Peace that just doesn't make sense. Peace when all troubles are breaking loose in our life. Seems like we should lose our mind, but God, you hold us, you hold us, you hold us. And you give us peace. You give us peace. So God, we thank you for that peace. In the name of Jesus. And all God's people say, Amen. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. Tonight is the final message from a series that we have entitled Unshakable. Unshakable trust. Unshakable joy. Unshakable hope. And tonight is Unshakable peace. I want Reese to share a little bit about this. And then I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to ask Deanna to come up and share just a little bit as well. All right? Unshakable peace. 
All right, um, y'all can have a seat if you want to. <laughs> you can sit in these chairs or whatever. So, okay. so you have to um, just kind of listen closely. My voice is like gone. Um, so every Friday night we pray. Um, 5.45 to 6.45 we pray and if we're meeting at Youth for Christ on Saturday then that means on sa on Friday we meet at, at Youth for Christ but when we meet here uh, at Dickie's on, um, on Saturdays then we pray here at Dickie's and every Friday night at Dickie's God leaves us some surprises it's like he's telling us I'm already here, thanks for coming and meeting me. So every Friday he leaves us a surprise and last night <clears throat> we were praying and I, um, I heard him saying to us, look how far you've come, look how far you've come, look how far you've come. And I went right over to the gate where, uh, where the, the, the gates are open, I went right over there and I found, I found this stone just a simple stone right well God began to show me just like the children of Israel when they were able to cross the the Jordan River in order to, to occupy their promised land they were instructed by God to pick up 12 stones as reminders of how far they've come so God was speaking to us last night through this stone he said look how far you've come so we're still praying, still praying, still walking, still walking. And right about here, uh, on the other side of the bounce house, I begin um, saying, Lord, wherever you lead us, we will go. We will follow every step of the way. We'll follow you every step of the way. We will go wherever you lead us. And he led me right there in the dugout where there were some shoes. So he's leaving us surprises every step of the way. So first it was the stone, look how far you've come, children of Israel. And then to the dugout with some shoes after we just finished praying, God, we will go wherever you tell us to go. So he left us some shoes in the dugout. And then we came back together and we were praying. I kid you not, we're praying, 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 Lord, what else do you have for us? Meet us here, surprise us again. And then all the children started coming up to us saying, look, we found deodorant. Look, we found um, shampoo. Look, we found toothpaste and just lotion and all these things that they were bringing up to us saying, we found all these things. Look, mom, look, dad, we found all these things. And we're like, God, what does this mean? Normally we're out here praying and we're finding like, needles used needles and half smoked joints and used condoms seriously and we're cleaning all that stuff up and he's saying you've been faithful at this park now let me leave you some stuff there's abundance there's an overflow of of cleanliness here if you will no longer do you have to pick up trash that represents destruction but you're picking up stuff that represents life and cleanliness and and new life and so we're like okay god you're you're just doing way too much you're hilarious thanks for the surprises this is great and then he left us one more thing out of here where'd it go okay well oh here it is Phil. <laughs> See, the devil thought he had us. No. Anyway, so then he left us one more thing. And one of our spiritual mentors, um, Elder e Eric Claybon, he always talks about the fire of God and um, just being being on fire for God and not letting anything put that fire out. And um, so the last thing we found was um, <laughs> some matches. We found some matches. And on the front it says, thank you, come back again. And it was as if God was saying, once again, I'm already here. You meet me here. Thank you. Please come again. And then we turned it over and on the back, I don't know if you can see it, but on the back, there's a tree on the back of this. And our whole series for the month of October was unshakable, right? Having roots that are deeply planted. If you look at that tree right there, what is that? It, right? 
so he's like he was just speaking us speaking to us all y'all probably think i'm crazy and i'm out of my mind and but it was so amazing last night like he was leaving us all these little reminders um look how far we've come follow me you know where where i go you go thank you come again it was just it was just remarkable so anyway that's all i gotta say about all that now i'm gonna be with y'all babies hallelujah so god uh last night reminded us that he has this entire month been planting our roots deeply in the ground um tonight is about unshakable peace i was talking to diana earlier today and diana began to share with me and as she began to share with me uh, i realized uh, that the very thing we're talking about tonight, Deanna is experiencing right now in her life. So I want Deanna, you come up here and share a little bit about the peace that God has given you right now. Hi, I'm Deanna, and um, I just want to say a little bit about the peace that I'm experiencing now compared to almost probably a year ago that I was not experiencing. And it's an amazing piece that I can't even begin to like explain or what it feels like. It's oh, a year ago I was in my addiction and just going through the most and I was always trying to find in me, like just trying to like, you know, the next hustle to even have like um, food on the table, like toilet paper, like, you know, I was just like, anything I could find, it was just crazy. and. When I gave my heart to the Lord, it was just this, I was just like a tree, just barely being planted. And like, I'm still very new. So I'm just like little growing, growing, growing. And he just keeps on like surprising me and just showing me like, you keep on going with me. You keep on giving your life to me and serving others and showing others me like, I'm supporting you. Like, you think God can't pay your bills? Well, he can like I've seen it done and I've been blessed like more than I could even imagine and I know that it doesn't stop here it just excels more and more and you know when it's a spiritual battle like when I feel like the devil's trying to come on me and trying to bring back all that old stuff it's just I start to feel sick and I just have to start praying and getting more deeper and deeper and just know that I got so much to lose and it's just like I got so much more to be blessed with so, you know, it's just like an ongoing battle, but the peace that I feel is just, I know I won't be without. Like, I may have just the littlest bit, but it's a lot to me right now. Like, it's a lot that I didn't have. And especially, like, having the Lord in my life and working in me and, like, showing me so much more, it's a truly blessing and just full-on peace. Like, I, my life is not an uproar. Like, I'm not doing 360s. I'm not, you know, I'm just not to run around with my head cut off like it's just it's crazy and it's it's awesome it's something that i want to be able to share to other people and just you know plant that peace in everybody else it's awesome so hallelujah that's awesome and so uh god says this to us tonight what diana has been experiencing is what jose and his family are beginning to experience and that is an unshakable peace that comes from God. Here's what God says tonight in Philippians 4. It's on your sheet. And I want you to take the sheet home with you because it's got a couple of announcements on it, but also it has this scripture on it. And if you are ever at home and you're not feeling the peace of God, you're feeling like chaos has just entered your home without your permission, or your thoughts and your mind is just going a thousand miles an hour, I want you to read this passage over and over again when you ever feel that way. Here's what it says. Paul says this. He wrote Philippians. He says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. He's here. Do not be anxious about anything. Don't be anxious about anything. But in every, and I mean every, situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, 
which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I want to read it one more time. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about where your next meal is coming from. Amen. Do not be anxious about where your next paycheck is coming from. Do not be anxious about not having a job yet. Do not be anxious about not having the apartment you want yet. Do not be anxious about anything, he says. But in every situation, can you say every? Every. Say every. Every. In every situation. Does that mean some situations? Every. Every situation. He says, by prayer and asking. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, God's peace, will, which transcends all understanding. What, is, what does it mean it transcends all understanding? It means that there's no way that anyone will ever understand how you can be experiencing peace right now when you may not have everything that you want and hope for. All right? And so you don't understand it. No one else understands it. Everyone else in your life would be anxious right now everyone else's minds and hearts would be going crazy but the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus now here's what I need and we're gonna and we're finishing I just need uh, let me get like six people up here to help me I need six people come up here and stand next to me so I've got two coming three coming four five six come on it's fine come on up uh, red shirt come on let's go Oklahoma what does that say Jesus saves. That's why I said Oklahoma. All right, there we go. That's that's the Midwest. That's like where Jesus saves in Oklahoma. That's good. All right. So so here's what we do. I want you all to form like like a triangle, okay, in front of me. All right. Form a triangle in front of me. All right. Yeah, I like you, Jose, standing in the front, but y'all face that way. The triangle faces that way. So there we go. Fan out like that. Fan out like that. Jose's the point. Step. Take one step forward. You're right there. All right, sis. Here we go. You're right here, Larry. Come on. All right. Do you see the picture on your sheet? You see that picture underneath the scripture? I don't know if you can see it that well, but that is a picture uh. of some Roman soldiers. It's a picture of some Roman soldiers in this formation. What are they doing in the picture? They are protecting the people who are in the middle. They are guarding the people in the middle. When Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, when he says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds. When he says that, he, that the peace of God will guard your hearts and your minds, he means that if you would not be anxious about anything, and if you would in every situation, if you would with thanksgiving, make your prayers, make your requests known to God, then God would send his peace like a bunch of Roman soldiers, and, they, and his peace would literally stand on guard over your heart and your mind. What is the point of these guards? What is the point? The point is that if David or if Christy or if Mahabi or if Pastor Timothy or if anybody tried to break in and do anything to me right now, I represent your mind. I represent your heart right now. If you tried to break in past these Roman soldiers, they would guard me. They would protect me. This is what God says. He says, if you would not be anxious, stop trying to fix all your own problems. Stop trying to act like you can solve everything that happens in your life. On, you Pastor. are not God. God says, if you would not be anxious, and if you would dig your roots deeply into me, and if you would make your prayers known to me, if you would just ask me, tell me, say, God, I need you to work in my situation. He says that I will send my peace, which will not make any sense 
in the midst of what you are waiting for, he says, I'll send it and it will guard your heart and it will guard your mind so that if Satan tries to take your mind, if Satan tries to come in and go after your heart, God says, no, my peace is standing on guard over your heart and your mind. And there is nothing, there is no weapon that is formed against you that will be able to prosper because I've sent my angels to guard you. This is unshakable peace. This is where unshakable peace comes from. It doesn't come because we're so smart. It doesn't come because we work so hard. It doesn't come because we put in enough job applications. It doesn't come because we put together a good defense to go to court with. It doesn't come because we fought hard enough. It comes because we are not anxious about anything. It comes because we make our prayers known to God and then God sends his peace and his peace guards our hearts and our minds and it is beyond anything you can understand anything you can understand thank y'all y'all go be seated thank you so much for standing here so here's what i want to do tonight we are finishing this series unshakable hope unshakable trust unshakable joy unshakable peace the unshakable series tonight this is what I want us to do I'm gonna create four different groups actually you're gonna create four different groups and here's how it's gonna go I want you to think about these four words trust in God hope joy and peace Say them again. Trust. Hope. Joy. Peace. Now you say them with me. Trust. Trust. Hope. Hope. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Reese said God left us some, some notes last night. Reminded us that he is doing the very thing we've been talking about in our lives. I want you to decide which of those four words you need most right now in your life. Trust, hope, joy, or peace. Which one of those do you most need in your life right now? Trust, hope, joy, or peace. And you're going to create four different groups. We're going to have a trust group. We're going to have a hope group. We're going to have a joy group. We're going to have a peace group. And we're going to pray for one another that the Lord would establish an unshakable trust, an unshakable hope, an unshakable joy, an unshakable peace in our lives that we would look like this tree whose roots are deeply grounded in God himself. So tonight, here we go. If you most need trust right now in your life, I want you to come and stand under this tent right here. If you most need hope right now, Pastor Timothy has his hand up. I want you to go stand next to him. Raise your hand, Pastor Timothy. I know that's, I know that's not why it was up, but your hand's up. If you, want pe if you want joy right now most, I want you to go to Christy. Raise your hand, Christy. Go find Christy. She's got a red tank top on. Joy. If you need peace, come stand underneath this tent right here. I'll say it one more time. Of those four words, which do you most need in your life right now? Where do you need God to take your roots more deeply? You're saying, God, I need you to take me deeper in my trust in you. Then I want you to stand over here with my sisters over here. Trust is over here. Hope is over there with Pastor Timothy. Joy is with Christy. And peace is right with me under this tent. I want everyone here to choose a group. You may not be, be like, man, I'm totally struggling in so many different ways. I don't care. That wasn't my question. 
The question is, which do you most need in your life right now? To trust God more, to have unshakable hope, to have unshakable joy, even though your life doesn't seem to create joy, or peace is where I am right now. I need peace most. Now everyone has, every group has a bottle of oil, okay? I'm going to ask the leader of that group, that's Christy, that's Pastor Timothy, over here, Jamal, okay? Jennifer, I want to ask those leaders to anoint every person, okay? But I want you really to spend time, break up in maybe groups of two, if your group is big enough, or three. And I want you to have a short conversation about why you stood in that group. Why are you standing in the hope group? Why are you standing in the peace group? And then I want us to pray for one another. Amen? Amen. The oil, as we anoint you, symbolizes God's presence being with you. The only way that more trust, hope, joy, or peace is going to be with you is if God himself brings it. So we anoint you tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right.